Good morning everyone. So today we are unfortunately leaving our really nice themed room at the crazy house. But we are very excited to get on our next bus and head off to Natre. We have made it to the bus station. Graham and I are kind of confused of where we always go to get picked up by buses because sometimes it's in front of a cafe, sometimes it's in front of their office. Today I'm pretty sure it's, in, it's at this bus station but I think we're going to go maybe chat with someone and see if we're in the right place. Got our ticket, bus leaves at 9.30. Um, I think we might find some coffee and hang out. Change of plans when I got our first ticket. She asked if we wanted to go now, I said no. And then I came back, talked to Robin, decided we're gonna go now. So our bus leaves at 8.30 now, and so we are gonna go find it and hop on. Sometimes it pays to be early. Our plan was to just get here early so that we could enjoy a cup of coffee, use the washroom, because there's never washrooms on these buses. But uh, yeah, we'll take the opportunity to go earlier and get to our destination earlier. <laughs> Might as well, honestly, like it was free to change. So, worked out for the best. It did. Okay, so the bus literally left before Graham was even in his seat. So I think we left right on time, right at 8.30 or maybe shortly after. This is definitely an upgrade from the last bus that we were on. Not quite as nice as the very first bus that we were on. We definitely had more space on our seat. This one is still very skinny, but I can fully stretch out on this one, which is unbelievable. Because <laughs> last time I was a little bit Kind of especially with my bag my legs were very cramped and we do get a blanket which is really nice and we do have control over our ac too which is unbelievable it's pumping right now on the last bus i was frozen because the whole bus was just super cold and i couldn't do anything about it we also have curtains which is really nice we have another like tv display but i haven't actually seen it ever turn on so i'm not really sure what that is for but we can plug in our phones we have a cup holder a little cubby and yeah i think this is gonna be really nice i think it's about a google Maps says it's three hours to the train i'm pretty sure when we booked the bus it says it was about like a four hour trip or something like that. I'm assuming we're gonna have another like snack stop or something along the line. So we'll see how long it actually takes. But uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be a lot more enjoyable. Plus I get the window seat again. <laughs> Graven's in the aisle, so. He sleeps and I can't sleep on transportation. So I like to be able to like look out and see stuff. So this just works the best because then I can film and he can sleep and it uh, works great. Okay, I actually don't mind the middle seat at all. I think it's just like, I can like have space on both sides of my legs. So it's actually, I think just a little bit more roomy. Um, the only thing that's kind of throwing me off right now is that, okay, one, I have Robin's bag on my lap, but two, this has a big bar, but this side does not. So I'm worried that if I'm asleep and we hit a bump going this way, there's like a slight possibility I fall off my seat. Um, hopefully I don't. I guess, fingers crossed.
can feel the heat. I'm gonna be overdressed for this. I'm glad I took off my sweater. Okay, so we just made it to our bus stop. I think we're about halfway because it's about 10.30 a.m. The drive is definitely windy. Um, luckily, Graham and I aren't ones that are super prone to motion sickness, but someone on this bus is not doing it's okay. Not I am a person who, if I hear someone get sick, I will then get sick, and all of a sudden the coughing turned into more, and I was like, was scrambling for my headphones. I'm like, I'm just gonna play music as loud as I possibly can to drown out all of the noises. But yeah. other than that, it's honestly been such a comfortable ride. Yeah, I just searched it up. We're an hour and two minutes away from Mount Chang. Um, so I think so we've definitely done the majority yeah, and of like, our drive like, so far. Looks like we're getting onto the other side of like a big mountain pass almost. Yeah. Um, so I think it's gonna turn into a little bit more straighter Smoother. easier riding than uh, what we started out with with all the twists and turns to the mountains so yeah should be a good last hour yeah honestly though the views have been incredible but i'm excited for coffee and know. for food when we get to the train yeah okay that was a brief like 10-ish minute stop so i see people get back on so i think we're gonna hop back on too i also can't get enough of these shoes they give you i just get a kick out of them every time it's so funny This was actually the first time I remembered to bring the toilet paper to the bathroom with me. Super thankful. Okay, we have made it. That was way faster than we anticipated, so let's go get to our hotel. People are already asking us for a taxi. Okay, we have successfully made it off of the bus. As soon as we stepped off of the bus, there was about six people that asked us for a taxi. Graham and I are actually out of cash right now, so we do have to book with Grab so that it goes on our card so that we can get into the main part of the train because the bus station is just like a little bit outside of the main center. It's still about an 18 minute drive to our accommodation. So we're gonna book a grab so that we can get there. Oh, watch your head there, honey. <laughs> We upgrade for you for the deluxe double with the CV. Wonderful. Oh, first one. Gosh, this is crazy. They, because we're only staying here one night, they upgraded us. So apparently the room that we booked had a really small window. So they upgraded us to a large window with a view of the ocean. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> this seems super fancy for what Graham and I usually go for. I think this is our actual first hotel of the whole trip and it's our cheapest accommodation yet. This hotel room, because we booked, I think we booked this yesterday or the day before, something super last minute. It was 76% off. So this room was 16 Canadian dollars. Are you kidding me? Like, it's crazy. And the guys downstairs are so, so lovely. They had the room set to 28 degrees Celsius, so I turned that right down to 22, so hopefully this room cools down, but maybe we'll take a dip in the pool in the meantime while we wait. But this is our room. It's a pretty standard hotel room. Oh, the bed is so comfortable. <laughs> It's going to be so refreshing to have our own private space and not feel like we're in a bubble that tourists can view into. So I'm very excited for that. I haven't checked out the bathroom. Ooh, everything is... I haven't even had time to take my backpack off yet. This place is awesome. Everything is so clean. I love it. It feels like this is like a brand new kind of hotel. Let's go for a swim.
Okay, so <laughs> when we got up to the top floor, we walked past the gym, and then there's this beautiful sitting area up here. Like, we have some stuff on the ground, we've got a nice table, we've got some bar tables, and they're all overlooking uh, the ocean, so it is gorgeous up here. Best $16 we've ever Best spent. Best by far. So in the gym, there's a massage chair. I didn't see that. Um, so I think I know where Robin's spending the night. I guess I get the bed to myself. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's time to get in the pool. This feels so nice after a travel day and in preparation for another travel day, I feel spoiled. Okay, we're putting the camera away so we can fully relax. Okay, we have spent some time getting some work done and doing some more planning because we go to a new city tomorrow and we didn't have an accommodation booked. So we got that booked. Robin's been doing some editing. So now we are going to get some supper and explore the Na Trang night market a little bit. Some food because it's seven and I'm very hungry. It's closed. If you want a restaurant picked for you that you can guarantee is closed, we'll pick it for you because it's almost for sure is gonna happen. How does this keep happening to us? I don't get it. I guess we'll find a different restaurant. So because our first plan didn't pan out, we just kind of walked this little off street where like maybe a couple blocks from the main market that we were just at. So I think the prices here are just like a little bit more reasonable than some of the main restaurants. And we saw a lot of people sitting down, both local and tourists. So we said, what the hey, <laughs> we'll sit here too. And they handed us a huge menu. I'm finding that that's very common. Like the menus here are like that thick. And it has like rice, noodles, soups, greens, and then it also has chicken, beef, squid, fish, like so many different categories. I got dumpling soup and Graham got, what did you get? And Graham got rice noodles with pork. They both sound delicious. I think mine was 60,000 dong and how much was yours? And Graham's was 55,000 dong. So honestly not too bad and I hope they taste good. <laughs> okay, this is like exactly what I was craving. Okay, I'm gonna give my spring roll a try first. Mine smells so good. Yeah. Spring roll is delicious. This is gonna be really good. So, I don't know if I've actually said this before. But I think one of my favorite things about Southeast Asia was that I can get a fresh juice every single day. And it doesn't cost me like $8. Like it does back at home, this was a dollar. Like it was like 27,000 dong or 25. It's orange and passion fruit, unreal. And my dumpling soup came and it smells so good. <laughs> I think it's gonna be really hot. We're gonna try the broth first. 
Yum. Okay, broth doesn't have a lot of flavor by itself. Mm. The spices in the dumpling. I think it's a pork dumpling. Unbelievable. This is so good. This is exactly what I was wanting today. Okay, little update for you. One, I think that might be one of the best meals I've had on this trip. I know, it's a big statement, but it is so true. That was absolutely delicious. I already told Robin that I think we gotta come back here tomorrow for another meal, because that was too good. Second update, it is packed in here. As you can probably hear, it is so full. Every table is full. There's people talking and laughing and having a good time, so it's just such a, it's a cool experience. It's a probably one of our better restaurants we've been to, and we just like kind of happened upon it, so very happy with today's supper. This has been awesome. Over there, I was pouting and being all upset about our restaurant not being there and Google Maps leading us astray. But really, Google Maps, you just led us to this incredible experience. That meal was absolutely 10 out of 10. So if you need a good restaurant recommendation, ask us, because we'll lead you to a good one. <laughs> that might actually be open. Overall, we I think we've had a pretty good day. Like. Our travel day was very simple. It was sad leaving Dilat because I think we both really liked it there, but moving on to this like nice four-star hotel <laughs> that we're in for $16 a night, it's always nice to <laughs> kind of reset before again picking up our pace really soon here. But I think this is where we're gonna leave you guys. So we hope you enjoyed watching our travel day and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Okay, we've... Whoa, I lost my shoe. <laughs> they stop for everybody else. Are you wanting me to say the whole thing? No, I'm just trying to think of what I'm going to say. Do you want to like hit it or something? Nope. <laughs>